what's good, misfit, murder, F gang. This is my dumb advice. What's good, Misfit, Murdav Gang? This is my dumb advice. Bow! What's good with you? How you feeling? What it is, man? How y'all doing? I got a fresh shape up. I'm feeling good. Feeling great. You know what I mean? Um, but how 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 is everybody else doing, man? Mental health check. Hope everybody's good. Right? I hope every nobody's feeding into their demons. Um, I do that enough for everybody. So don't feed into your demons, people. Hold it down. You know, I definitely had a whole segment on fucking vapes last episode. I thought that was important, right? Just got to figure it out. And, you know, salute to a couple people who were able to quit smoking due to vapes. But people who started smoking because of vapes. The double-edged sword. <laughs> but it seems like it was Halloween just yesterday and tomorrow's Thanksgiving. That's how I'm feeling. Like, that's where I'm at with it. Like, we were just talking about costumes. And now we're on our gobble-gobble shit. You know what I mean? But here's the thing. I don't celebrate Thanksgiving no more. All right? I don't intend on celebrating Thanksgiving. Now, here's the hard part. When you grow up in a Puerto Rican household, Thanksgiving is absolutely celebrated. I don't know why, right? Because we descend from the Taino Indians who were fucking slaughtered. So, yeah, I'm that guy. I'm going to be that person who fucks up Thanksgiving for you. But look, I'm just saying, I'm not trying to celebrate Thanksgiving but it's really, really hard when your entire family does, right? What do you do? Like, what do you do, right? Do you be like, nah, fuck that. I ain't coming to the crib. I ain't eating none of this food. Eating none of this shit. Celeb- celebratory food. What am I supposed to do? Tell me. Do I not show up to the function? Do I create my own function? And call it indigenous day functions. You know what I mean? Hmm. I'm not trying to celebrate. That's all. You know what I mean? Because I was in for a rude awakening. Like, the more I learn, the more I'm frustrated. You know what I'm saying? The more I'm frustrated. And like, fuck, man. Damn. Like, it's like you don't want to be woke, right? It's like. Oh my God, like, I want this knowledge, right? I want this knowledge. I want to learn about my ancestry and then I want to know what we've come from and I, and I want to know this shit, but then I find out and I'm like, ugh, the fuck? What? When, when, when I find out shit, I'm like, yo, my whole life, I was like, lied to. And it's like, it's fucked up because as a kid, I were making, I remember making little hand turkeys and coming home to my mom like, yeah, I made this hand turkey. Oh, me, mom, I love it. So happy. Little jolly little shit. Little jolly ass kid. So jolly ass little kid. I was always happy. I was never mad. And I, I I made my own thing. Like, I was never one of those kids who wanted to be around a million other kids. Like, that really wasn't me keeping a buck. They were, I was, like, on the verge of, like, people thinking I was antisocial. But that wasn't it. I just didn't like playing with other kids because other kids were mad fucking unrealistic. And I hated it. I hated it. Example number one. We all got our toys, right? We popping out with the toys. I got the white Power Ranger, the green one, uh, ready to fuck some shit up. So I have my toys grounded because that's what people do. They walk on the fucking floor, the ground. So I got my toys on the ground, and I'm like, yeah, let's go. We, we finna fight. All the other kids is like, psh, psh, psh. whoa, how you defy gravity like that, bro? Like, 
Why you not walking? Like you finna, you finna just, you in the air for mad long. First of all, that Power Ranger do not fly, son. The Red Ranger did not fly. Why are you flying? You don't have a cape. Now, if you want to fly, go get the, the the little the little Superman over there. Then we can start talking. Then you can fly and everything's cool. And I hate it, unrealistic ass kids, man. That's what I'm saying. And I think that's why I was a little antisocial. So every time I like, I pulled out my toys and shit, I should just be like, man, I don't want to play with these kids. They so dumb. They so dumb. They don't understand that people are supposed to walk. Jesus, right? That's how I feel. They cheating ass. Like you supposed to move according to your 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 toy's powers. If your toy can't fly, hitter, you ain't supposed to fly. Dang. I really felt strongly about this. I I know you still like you can see that I actually still feel strongly about this. Like when I see my nephew playing with toys, I teach him to keep your shit on the ground. You know what I'm saying? Like. This Iron Man, you know what I mean? Iron Man can also fly. So just make sure you kick off his little boosters before you start flying. So now when my nephew play with Iron Man, he'd be like, letting off my boosters. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. Funny as fuck. <laughs> I love my nephews, man. I love them so much. They're small, right? They're five and six. They almost look like twins. If you see them, they like you would think they're twins. I mean, but me, I think they're two totally different people. And I almost hate when people treat them like twins, right? It fucking, it, it, it hurts me with a passion because I'm like, yo, they're two individuals. They're totally different characters, man. If you get to know them, they almost don't have a lot in common. Like, they're just too different, right? Um, One of them, he's real into, like, tablets and and gaming and, and, and stuff like that. And the other one, he's more into toys. He's more, he's still like playing with toys, right? And I want to keep him there, right? I love it because it reminds me of my childhood. I'm like, oh man, he still likes playing with toys and he prefers a toy over a tablet. And I, I love that so much. And, you know, my other nephew, he's, he, nobody going to take his iPad. Like, he's like, look, I like this iPad and I like this game and this toy that you're trying to get me to play with is foolish. It's not advanced enough, right? Um, but I, I I like that they're individuals. You know, I like that they're different. You know, my my mom always buys the matching outfits, like the same, the same. We have to buy two of everything. So if we get one shirt, we get the same identical one in a different size. And I keep telling my mom, stop doing that. You know what I mean? He don't even like green. That's not a favorite color. You know what I mean. One likes one likes blue, one likes red, one likes green. You know what I'm saying? Just let them be them. Let them be themselves. And I'm just saying. But sometimes when I look at them, you know, I think I compare it to my childhood and I think of the stuff that they have and stuff that I would never dream or imagine of having at that age, um, such as tablets, right? I mean, obviously, we didn't have tablets when I was a kid. Um... But I'm thinking, you know, maybe if we did have tablets as a kid, I would have one. Um, but I want to see some of y'all favorite toys growing up. And I want to see if y'all was growing up during the same time that I was growing up. So, Prop Gang, where y'all at, man? Those are <sighs> fucking props. Let's get it cooking. Look, hey. We about to have a, a toy <sighs> challenge. Toy <sighs> challenge. Woo. Toy <sighs> challenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. I like popping bottles. Yeah. Nancy hoes, huh. I like fucking models, huh. out they fancy clothes, hey. I lie, I lie, I lie, I lie, I lie. Let's go. Okay, so I see Etch a Sketch. Ooh, had me an Etch a Sketch. What up, Kilo? Ninja Turtles. Had me some Ninja Turtles, too. Had me some Ninja Turtles. I fucked with it. Um, Had Power Rangers, had all of them, except the girls. I ain't shit. I ain't shit. Because I didn't want the, the pink one or the yellow one. Because they weren't the best ones. Come on, y'all. Y'all knew it. Y'all knew they wasn't the best ones. Now, me, I saw no gender. I saw no gender. I was like, look, I like the Red Ranger. I think he has the best power. I think he has the best animal. He has the T-Rex. 
Why would I opt for any other dinosaur besides the T-Rex? The T-Rex is king in the jungle. He is the fucking... He is the top of the food chain. No one can eat the Rex. Why the fuck would I want to be a pterodactyl? Because I'm a girl? No. I want to be the T-Rex. My One of the favorite toys I had, and it was a Home Alone toy. It was the recording gadgets. Remember the tape recorder that um that he had? Hey, uh, y'all, y'all, y'all had to y'all know it. You have to know it. If you my age, you had it. You wanted it. It was fire. Um, and then they even had the recording pen. So I used to record shit and play it back to my sister. Like, oh, you uh, yo, you're fucking. You have boogers in your nose. You have boogers in your nose. It was fucking dope. It was fucking dope. You know what I mean? I loved it. I loved it and want more of it. You feel me? Then they had the, yeah, they had the pen version. You could be, you was able to record shit on that. Love that. Love that. 100%. 100%. Prop game. Try to fix some technical <sighs> difficulties here. Hey. Gigapets, yes. Shout out to the Gigapet. Yes, 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 yes. I had a Gigapet. I had a Gigapet. Loved it. Loved the Gigapet. I wasn't a fan of the Furby. I think the Furby was below my age. That was younger. So you're showing your age, sis. No, not you. Oh, you put Furby. Oh yeah, oh, my my girlfriend is younger than me. Um, <laughs> so yeah, Furby wasn't my my year. Furby wasn't my year. I remember my nieces having Furbies, and my damn my my nieces were like seven years younger than me. Babe, how old are you really? Oh okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Scared me now. Like, did you lie about your age? Uh, <laughs> You know, throwing out like twenty-five-year-old toys here. Uh, Polly Pocket was old. I remember having a Polly Pocket, and if you still have a Polly Pocket to this day, you're probably rich, right? What else? Beanie Babies. If you got all your Beanie Babies, you might have some chicken. Now, I remember. I know my niece. She has an extensive catalog of Beanie Babies. Because she liked them so much, everybody used to buy her Beanie Babies. Everybody. Like, she has literally every Beanie Baby in the world. And my older sister used to work for FAO Shores. <laughs> Forget about it. She was getting them shits at the low. For the low. And, um, yeah, man. People, people love them shits. Um, so I remember those. I still think the Home Alone toy is top notch for me. That's like top three for me. Top three. Um, I love that toy. Also because I was a rapper, right? Even as a kid. So I used to record raps on that shit and feel lit. Like feel like I was doing the do. Feeling lit. Loved it. Loved that toy. Uh, Transformers. Yup. See, my brothers had Transformers. I never had Transformer toys. I had I was more in the Power Ranger phase because everybody used to say Power Rangers was like biting off Transformers. They used to say, "Oh, it's bootleg, ah, uh, ah, uh, whatever, 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 whatever the case may be." You know what I'm saying? My big wheel. Oh, I'm jealous. I always wanted a fucking big wheel. Never got one. I never got a big wheel. And. I honestly believe because it wasn't in our price range, right? I don't think we had enough money for me to get a big wheel. So I kind of was sad because I felt like we was poor. And I was like, I ain't get no big wheel. You know what I'm saying? So that that was one of my, oh my God, we're, are we poor? Kind of moments in life. <laughs> oh. 
Easy Bake Ovens was a game changer. Now, see, my sister has had an Easy Bake Oven. And she was, like, baking shit not properly. And we was eating half ass cake. Uh, <laughs> them cakes was never bake. I don't know about y'all. But the cakes were never baked. We was, we was fucking eating raw cake, yo. Never baked. Eating raw ass cake. But the oven was dope. You know what I mean? <laughs> what else? I had me... Hmm. I always like musical toys. So I had like the saxophone shits. Had that. Had a piano. Had a piano. Um, I loved guns. Anything a gun related, I wanted it. Anything gun related. I wanted all the cop toys just to get the gun. Threw the badge to the side, just wanted to get. Um, and I might add that my mom maybe should have get you know worried a little bit because one time I made I made an AK forty seven from just wood. 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 I'll tell you how. One of my friends, his father, he was a construction worker. And in his house, in his backyard, he owned a real big house on the block. His He was the only person that we knew that owned a house. So we were, like, amazed, right? Like, I mean, he was my only white friend also. So he was the only person that owned a house on the block. So we went to his house. He had a huge front yard. That was directly across the street from the park. And we used to love his house. Because it just had so much things. He had every toy. He had everything. But he was a little weird and violent, dude. You know what I mean? He was he was a little crazy. He ended up being like a real wild white boy killing people and shit. But whatever. That's neither here nor there. The point was, when we was kids, we used to have so much fun. So his father had like a whole wood shop that he would let his son play with. Like... He would let him fuck with the wood shit, like the saws and all of that. So I was like, yo, how can we create a gun from wood? So we took a big piece of block wood. We got we we drew out an AK-47 to the T, right? We used, we used, we were detailed. We used fucking rulers to measure everything. We got it all fucking played out. It was so dope. Now we have a perfect drawing of an AK-47. So my boy, he just starts cutting it with his little wood thing. <makes noise> Trimmed it out. So now we have a perfectly shaped AK-47. I did the sawing, right, to make it nice and round with the sandpaper. Do-do-do-do. Now we have a perfectly fire wooden AK-47. So we like, yo, how we gonna make this shit spit? Next, we put some nails in the front, right? We put a nail right through the top. So if you're looking at the AK-47, the front had a nail coming out this side. And then on this side, had another nail coming out this side, right? Then we attached a, uh, a clothesline clip, the stuff you hang up your laundry on. So we put that onto the clip. Then we had a like a rubber band that we stretched back, clipped it to the clip, and attached like pellet beans to it. Yo, long story short, we connected that to the trigger. Now, when you pull the trigger, it lets off the pellet. And all you had to do to, to, to reload it was cock back the rubber band. Yo, the dopest weapon on the block. And we were fucking people all with that shit. We went into the park like fucking Call of Duty. Do, 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 do. Beep, beep. People was like, yo, what is that? Beep, beep. Wallin. Now, I think a little back, if we had that today, we'd get shot by the police. But back in the day, I, you know, we wasn't we wasn't really worried about getting shot by police. But we definitely was out there armed and dangerous. <laughs> and I always wanted to be better than people. To this day, I still have that trait. And I think that's the reason why I'm very competitive. But I wanted to be better than people. So when everybody had the little, the fake BB guns, like, do y'all know how to make a BB gun out of a, out of a quarter water? Does any, did anybody do that in the hood? No? 
Put it in the chat if you made pellet guns out of quarter waters. Now you take a quarter water, you cut it in half, right? And then you take a balloon. You put the balloon on the top of the of the quarter water, and then you put rubber bands to tie it tight, keep it tight on there. You put rocks in it, cock it back, bow, bow, fucking people up with them shits. Fire. You put beans in it, you put rocks in it, anything that was small enough to go inside that quarter water. Now, that was our weapons. That was our weapons. We will run around with them shits in our pockets and anybody got crazy with us, we'll throw a fucking BB in there. Say something else. Say something else. Fire. Kids don't do that shit no more. They don't use their fucking noodle. They don't use their fucking noodle. We will get creative and get colorful balloons and it would just be real dope. Uh, so when people was doing that, we just wanted to come up with a more creative way to do the pellet gun. And what we did, we made an AK-47 fucking pellet gun. And, you know, I'm sharing that story with y'all today because it was so excited for me as a kid. You know what I mean? <laughs> yep. I want to say what age. I mean, we was probably, I was probably like seven, eight, seven or eight. In those ages, seven, no, seven might be too small. What? I don't know. I was old enough to go to the park by myself. So I was probably like 11, keep it a band. Because I remember at a, like, a age, like, when I started going to, um, like, after fifth grade, most of the time I was outside. Like, I could come outside. You know what I mean? All I had to do was be with my best friend. Um, he lived upstairs from me. We just had to be together at all times. So if something happened to the other one, the other one could report. So, you know, as long as we stood together, we could go outside. That was probably, like, the best time of my childhood. I had so much fun doing it. And, yeah, we had a lot of fun. So, you know, shout out to my white friend with the house and, and his pops. I wonder where his pops is now if he's still a construction worker. Um, I wonder, uh, his mom's was a little bit of a, you know, <laughs> she was a milf for sure. Cause we used to be like, Ooh, your mama got a fat ass. Damn. Moms was all right. Knock on front. She had a little, little muffin. But man, I always tell kids today, enjoy your childhood. Enjoy your childhood. Because you, it's so precious, you know what I mean? Nowadays, we adults. We got to deal with adult shit. We got to pay bills. We got to deal with the stress in our life. We got to work. We got to work hard to keep food on the table. And nothing is like when you're a kid and you have no worries in the world. And your hardest day is having to a, a bad playtime, right? Like getting hurt. You know what I mean? So, you know, thank you for sharing your childhood toys with me. Put some props in the chat for y'all having a motherfucking good ass childhood. Hey. And if you did have a good ass childhood, at least you had some moments that you can remember these toys that brought you joy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like popping bottles. Yeah. I like nasty hoes. I like fucking models. Out they fancy clothes. I like, I like, I like. I like, 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 Either buy or create the toy. You got to bring the toy. You got to bring the toy. And then we'll put it all together in a basket and we give it out. We give it out to kids these days so they can enjoy the toys that we enjoyed as children. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> um, what about board games? Where was y'all at with board games? What, what what was your favorite board game? I used to play Life. Um, 
I still play with life. Um, life, trouble, trouble. I still play trouble, but that was a game. My mom's. I got vivid memories of my mom's playing trouble for money on the stoop. She would she would challenge every other lady in the hood with trouble. She used to bust their ass in that game, and she used to always win money. I remember every time she win money, she'll give me some cash to go get something from the store. That was a really viv- great childhood moment. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my mama. Uh, Uno, Operation Connect 4. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, y'all. Chess check is Monopoly. Yo, Monopoly, let me tell you something about Monopoly. I hate that fucking game. Hated that game. Because I felt like it was no point. There's no point. You just go around the board and buy shit. But you don't actually get physical shit. That's what I ain't like. You get, you got the fake money. It'd be dope if you actually get the property, like building toys. Like if there were like big ass properties, it would have probably made it more interesting. They need to make an update to Monopoly, man. I see a lot of different versions, and really all they do is change the names on the board. They gotta add some 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 more shit to that. I never really liked Monopoly. Wasn't a big fan. But I understand the concept, and I understand it well. Like, yeah, take over the shit. We should make a hood monopoly where you get gangs and you take over strips, like straight up. So the green gang, the blue gang, you know what I'm saying, the red gang. And then as you go around, you know what I'm saying, you fuck up people for their property, and the pieces will be a little gap. <laughs> you know? Tim's um dead. Yes, yes, there has to be a Timberland to replace the boot. And instead of the little 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 Monopoly dog, you get the fucking little pit bull. A little pit bull. Arr. Little rock waller. Hat, yes. Hat gonna be a fitted cap, a fitted NY cap. That's what we doing. And if you find a side hustle, you can buy the property faster. You know what I'm saying? Get the money quicker. You get dirty money too. And then they actually have money, but let it be dirty. You know what I mean? Look a little scruff. Scruffy. That's the dirty money. The money you get on the street. And it only come in ones and fives. You know what I mean? You could buy like laundry mats to clean your money. You know, those little, little bodegas and shit. Fire. We're going to do it. It's Monopoly. The hood version. Hood Monopoly. Or Monopoly. The Brooklyn way. Something of that nature. It's going to be fire. It's going to be fire. And I, I'm surprised they haven't made it yet. It's probably some kind of legal issues behind it. Like you can't do that. But I feel like you can. The games they have now, a bunch of sex games. They got dice games that say, hey, if you land on a sick, you suck the dick. So... I'm finna Google that shit right in this hell. What is it called? Hoodopoly? I see getopoly, but I don't like saying the word ghetto. It make me feel like they talking to me. And then they got a black guy on the cover? No, I don't like this. I don't like it one bit. Don't call me ghetto, even if I am ghetto. They got redneck life. Monopoly socialism. Yo, they really got getopoly. But no, I don't like this shit. It's ghetto. They got the crack house. I'm dead. The crack house, the strip club. <laughs> Yo, Mattel did not make this. I'm dead. It's called Getopoly. And then they have a, um, <laughs> I can show you better than I can tell you. Bam. Look at Getopoly, y'all. Fucking get out, please. I don't like this. Don't call it get out, please. And then you got a, a hood dude out, out, out the joint with a, with an Uzi and, and, a, and malt liquor. Why do be malt liquor? Nah, we trying to live fabulous in the hood, baby. This shit is racist as fuck. It's racist. No, 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 no. First of all, don't call me ghetto. I don't like it. Here's the thing. If we call it hoodopoly, 
You could be hood and not ghetto. Because I'm hood and not ghetto. You know what I'm saying? And I don't like that he got malt liquor. Why we can't have Ace of Spade, right? Get the hand dog. Why he ain't fresh to death? Why he got a little dusty ass wife beater on? This shit is cream. It's not white. We don't wear cream wife beaters. Yeah, man, we not ghetto. We know how to act. Bullshit. I tell you this. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Shout out to everybody in the chat. But we gonna put a no on Getopoly. And we gonna have to pull out Hoodopoly. Do it the way we do it. The way we do it. How we do it. What we do, what we do, what we do. Duh, duh, duh. Right? Boom. So that's for board games. Now, speaking of childhood, you know, cause this seems to be the theme. How often, right? Because I remember as a child, if I fell and hurt myself, I'd get up and brush it off like it was nothing. I'd get injured, I'd bleed, break something even. I'd get up and be good. Now, at this age, I don't like getting hurt at all. I don't like pain. I don't like getting hurt. I don't like it. That's why if I even find myself in a situation where I'm finna get jumped, buh, 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 motherfuckers getting shot. Because I don't like to be touched. You feel me? My body is a temple. Don't touch me. I'm finna kill you. Buh, buh, buh. Bullet, bullet, bullet. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but I can remember so many times where I damn near lost my life and got up and act like there was nothing. Now, tell me about a time something like that happened to you. So, you got hurt. You slipped, you fell, you might have broke broke a bone or two, and you woke, got up like it was nothing. Because you're just a young kid wilding, and you don't give a fuck. Oh, shit, San Angelo never learned how to play dice. We got to teach you how to play dice, son. CeeLo. So Focus said, I got hit by a car and carried my pretzel bike home. <laughs> Damn. Mello got hit by a whole truck. Damn. Lizzie done passed out in the middle of the floor. <laughs> got up and started dancing. Damn, y'all all got hit by a car. I got hit by a car too. And my only regret is I ain't stay on the ground. I'm mad I got up with that one. Could have called me a good, good lawsuit. And you know, I went against being advised to stay on the ground. Because how come when you get hit by a car, all of a sudden, everybody's a lawyer? And lawyers pop up out the woodwork with cards. Like, hey, call me. My name is Andrew. Oh, Kira, call me. My name is Andrew something <laughs> Slickskenberg. Like, yo, where did you come from, son? It's the hood. You're Jewish. I don't know if you live around here, but you popped up pretty fast when I got hit by this goddamn car. He probably the one who hit me. Hopped out and said, man, I can sue me for you. We break the bread. Crazy. Crazy. I'm glad, first of all, I'm glad everybody who got hit by a car, Melo got hit by a truck, and we're here talking and living another day. So shout out to all of us for getting, getting past something like that. Um. But yeah, I got hit by a car, got slammed. Um, it wasn't very nice. But here's the thing: I knew the guy who hit me with the car, uh, cause you know my neighborhood is a small neighborhood. Everybody knows everybody. He was a dude that lived like not too far from me, a couple blocks away, and uh, everybody's telling me stay on the floor. But I was so nervous. And, like, my adrenaline was pumping so much that I just wanted to get up and make sure that I was living. Like, I was just like, oh, shit, like, is my body intact? Like, do I have everything? All right, I'm good. Like, I just wanted to live. Now, one of my boys, he had got hit with me. 
and he's he he got an ambulance and all that. But see, he had more knowledge of what he was finna get. He had to go through physical therapy for mad long. So, you know, when he when they told me to stay on the ground, I got up, but the ambulance still took me. So me and my boy, we both went to the, to the ambulance, whatever. We put in a report, blah, blah, blah. And the plan was for me to go to physical therapy until I got this chit act. Now, I didn't feel no actual pain, so I ended up not going to physical therapy. I didn't want to do that shit. My boy stuck it out, and he got some paper. He got some paper. I ain't getting no goddamn paper. I was young, dumb, stupid. I should have stood my ass on the ground and was like, oh, my back, my neck and my back. Now, I'm older and I'm wiser. If I get hit, my ass is staying there and I'm collecting. Going to physical therapy every day. I'm not going to miss a date. You're going to give me these checks for this pain and suffering. So that was that was weird. But honestly, that wasn't even my biggest accident. I remember I was riding a bike. It was a mountain bike. And me and all my friends, we used to always ride bikes across the Brooklyn Bridge, go to the city, go to this spot where they had mad ramps. We used to go through the ramps, you know, do some crazy shit, bike tricks, you know what I mean? All the freestyle bike tricks and all of that. And uh, we was riding through the park, and everybody know when, you know, everybody, most parks that I've grown up to see have sprinklers, have the, you know, where the water's coming out. So we always going through it. It was a hot day. We was riding through our bikes, sliding on the water, getting wet or whatever. Ah, ah, shh, 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 shh. Now my bike was a ghetto bike. I built my bike, right? I used to build bikes all the time. So this was a brandly new built bike, you know? It didn't have all the pieces yet. And the <laughs> the main piece that it didn't have was brakes. I didn't have brakes. But I rode bikes without brakes all the time. And all you got to do to stop the bike is just take your shoe and just just, just hit your back wheel and you, you, you stop. That was my brake, my, my back foot, my foot, back of the wheel. So we run through the fucking sprinklers and then straight from the sprinklers, we go down this freaking hill. Now we're blowing through this hill and it's going mad fast. And then we're hitting bumps, and we're going super fast. And the last thing I remember is my boy like, yo, Lee, because he called me Lee. Yo, Lee, you ain't got no brakes. So I'm like, what? Turn around. Boom. Yo. Now, (laughs) every gated community or whatever, they have these like poles that have a, a a chain, a pole, and then a chain, so on and so forth. So I ran into that. The chain got caught up in my front wheel, grabbed my front wheel. My bike went this way, well, forward. My bike pushed forward. The wheel came off, and I flew with the body of my bike into the air. I want to say it was about 20 feet in the air. And I came down hard as fuck, bro. And then my bike fell on top of me. Oh, my God. I look up, and all I see is my wheel (laughs) still going (laughs) Yo, that was probably the worst bike accident I've ever got into. Because I was hurt. I'm not going to front. I was hurt from the drop. I was hurt from from the bike actually falling on top of me. Oh, Lord. I got up. I'm limping. I'm like, shit. How the fuck am I going to get home? Because we was far from the crib. Yo, how am I going to get home, B? So I had to walk. Home. Walked home with these injuries mad far, holding my fucking wheel in one arm and my body bike in the other. Yo, when I got to the front of my crib, I just let everything go and just was like, oh. My mom was like, oh my God, what happened to you? Oh my God. My mom was mad dramatic. She's like, oh my God, 
God, you're bleeding. What happened? She thought I got mugged or some shit. I'm just like, yo, I, I fucking got into an accident and shit hurt. Fucking hurt right now. That shit took me out for a couple of days, man. Like, I was all fucked up. And all of that, I did not break one bone, man. I didn't break one bone. I felt good. I, you know, I felt like, yo, I really have been through some shit. <laughs> and this is before, like, anything really major happened in my life. I'm still a kid. And this is probably, like, the worst thing that has happened to me. Um, But after that, I I got into shit like that all the time. I would crash my bike, I'd fall, I'd break my shit, I'll bust my ass with rollerblades, and you know, I just was like prone to it at that at that point. I just was always getting fucked up. You know what I mean? Um <laughs> but <laughs> I ended up being almost invincible, feeling like I was invincible. Uh but I don't know at what age that stopped <laughs> because um yeah, my shit don't heal the way it should. You know what I'm saying? Because I had bust my ass down some stairs, and as an adult, it took me a couple weeks to get 100%. You know what I mean? I was still hurt, limping for, like, mad long. You know what I mean? But so I'm, just, I'm not healing as fast as I used to. We, we spoke about a lot of things today, right? So just to recap, you know, we talk about childhood toys, right? Bringing you back to that childhood feel, right? You know, we spoke a little bit about making our own games, making our own board games, and kind of just being creative. And we discovered ghettoopoly, which is fucked up. It's fucked up. We're not ghetto. Even if we hood, don't mean we ghetto. That was some racist shit we saw today. Um, I also saw, uh, well, we also spoke about Thanksgiving and how it came so fast. It's here already. And me not trying to celebrate Thanksgiving. And me being brainwashed as a goddamn child to believe that Thanksgiving was good. And it was a day of cheer. Instead, it was a day of slaughtering my ancestors. So, you know, although I can't make Thanksgiving disappear because my entire family celebrates it, I will educate as many people as possible as I can on the actual events of what what happened in that time. Um, not that people don't know, but it's always good to get specifics, and it's always good to spread the word. Um, but I will educate my family and try to get them to not celebrate Thanksgiving, but maybe change it into a more family day. Like, hold on to your family. Family's important because at any moment, you can be slaughtered. But I love you all. Thanks for tuning in. I really, really, really appreciate everyone who tunes in. Everyone, every single prop counts. Um, any way you can support the show, please do so. Uh, whether it's props, cash app, you know, you could always hit up the cash app at miss.fit, M-S-D-O-T-F-I-T. Your support is super appreciated. Also, you can check out the website. Get some merch, man. Cop a hoodie, man. That's a great way to support the channel because all the proceeds um, on the merchandise site comes to support the podcast and everything that I do. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I feel like that's the easiest way to get to everything else. My YouTube channel is linked to all my social media outlets, and it's also linked to my website. So if you go to my YouTube, literally every um, video that you click, is attached with my merch beneath it or on the side of it, depending on how you watch it. So, yeah, man, support the brand. I really appreciate it. Also, yeah, subscribing to the channel um, allows you to also become a member, right? If you become a member, you get exclusive privileges. For instance, if you join and become a backstage member or meet and greet member, you can get one-on-ones with me, my dumb advice. Any advice on any topic whatsoever, I will give you advice based on my personal experiences and things, you know, that I've been through and things that I've seen happen. Uh, so sometimes it just helps to talk to somebody that you don't know. Sometimes it helps to just talk to somebody, anybody. Uh, so, you know, don't be afraid to pick up that phone. Let me know how you're feeling. Uh, always 
We're live each and every week, every Sunday, every Tuesday, 9 p.m. Eastern time. Um, I know sometimes we be like 9.15, 9.30-ish. But remember, man, I live a double life, y'all. Try to make it happen out here. But uh, again, man, I really appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, it's Misfit, Murdav, Green. Drop a prop if it's <gasps> hot. Drop hey. a prop if it's hot. <sighs> This is Misfit Murder Gang. This is my advice. Oh. Yeah. 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 Hey yo, what's good, Misfit Murder Gang? This is my dumb advice. Wow.